OK, welcome to another Programming Exam Solution tutorial for the AQA 2017 Prayer to Pray uh, Paper 1 Solution. This is the A-Level, not the AS Flower Simulator. Uh, a few people on YouTube have asked me to do a mini walkthrough of the code. Uh, I'm not going to do this in one go, so what I'll do is I'll, today I'll have a quick look at the top level, and then I will look at the different classes, uh, sort of not totally separately, but I'll, I'll do it through process. I'm hoping that you, everyone has seen something like this. So this is the class diagram for the Predator Prey model. I've seen a few different ones around on the web. This one I created. Um, that is supposed to be a diamond. If you're not familiar with the classes, then you're probably in a bit of trouble at this stage. And you'd spend some serious time looking at the code. Today I'm going to use Visual Basic because that's the one that the majority of my students use. But of course this class diagram is the same for, for all the languages. So without further ado, let's have a quick walk through. Uh, it's a console program. So of course we've got a main program that is effectively just a menu and a few inputs. Uh, we are... Whoops. For those of you that have already looked at the validation, you'll have seen that this is pretty ripe for um, adding range checks and type and presence checks. But crucially, all of this is just a bit of preamble to set up for this call, which instantiates the simulation class. Rather than me going through the process of how it all sets up, I'll do that separately. Let's have a quick look at different classes. Location. Um, slightly odd. We've got public properties. So this is being used this is being used um, so statically if you like. And we've got multiple objects being invoked uh, through new but being set to nothing. Uh, nothing in VB is just a generic object so is like setting it to, it's not setting it to zero, it's like setting it to null, if you like. Simulation, this is where the vast majority of uh, the work happens. We've then got Warren, which crucially is composed of rabbits. The rest of it is just processing. And then we have uh, two animals. Fox and Rabbit, which both inherit animal. You really ought to know how inspect works. And you ought to be fairly familiar with uh, the instantiation uh, method. You really, really, really ought to make sure that you're comfortable with what is inheriting, sorry, what gets used through the inheritance, but also what is being um, overridden. Okay. Rabbit the same. If you're not comfortable with uh, what is in each of these classes, uh, well, hopefully my other walkthroughs will, will, will explain to the, the rest of it. Let's go back to simulation. This new method here, the instantiation method, is by far the most important thing for you to make sure that you can follow it through. Again, we've got the menu options that are effectively stepping through the next time period, either sharing or hiding detail, and it also has got the two inspections. I would really urge you to practice going through all four of these options. At some stage in the exam, you're going to have to provide evidence for Inspect Warren or show detail. And I think if you're a bit slow on that and not, haven't got your eye in, uh, you're, you're going to be in trouble. Um, yeah, obviously no one knows what's going to be in the exam, but if you're an examiner, 
you don't put these two in if you're not going to examine something which then requires for you to do an inspection uh, later on and it might be as simple as adding an extra option that um, when you create a new animal for instance you've got to make use of inspect but I I suspect there'll be a change here where you've got to do an in inspection later on and in fact the other video that I'm about to post uh, we test it for using inspect warren so there's not a huge amount in here other than that create landscape and animals this is um, effectively where the uh, landscape is set up as a set of locations and I would expect for there to be questions on this uh, particularly um, in the section C where there's sort of questions rather than extensions uh, I mean by far the best thing for you to do if you're not familiar with this code is to I'll just make it small so you can see is to go in and set yourself a breakpoint somewhere there execute the code or start it in debugging mode and just run through the program and then once you get to this point because to be honest with you everything up to here is, is pretty straightforward uh, why is this not executing okay so we'll go through the default settings and once we've got to the breakpoint just step through the code let's get rid of the core stacks see a bit more just keep stepping through and make sure you can follow where the code is going okay so we're going to create that whenever you get to one of these loops this loop for instance goes through every single element in the landscape and instantiates a new location and assigns it to that element just create a new breakpoint move this across a little bit just create a new breakpoint move on because you don't need to step through the whole shebang then you can step through and when you click you can see this again this is going to instantiate a new warren passing these initial parameters and assign it to that location uh, sorry assign it to the warren object that's currently at that location so step and you can see it goes to the instantiation object I'm not going to uh, do that at this stage uh, because this is supposed to be top level but that is my strong advice to you to step through this code and just have a piece of paper next to you anything you don't understand just write down don't try and understand it there and then make sure you've gone all the way through and you, can, you understand um, you understand what each of these classes do crucially where the fact that they are um, all contained within excuse me <coughs> uh, all contained uh, here and here and the idea that we've got Warren com that uh, is composed of rabbits you've just got to get yourself get your head round sorry I'm a bit tired uh, get your head round how this is all working before you start going into any other detail then step through the code but with specific elements in mind so for instance you know that foxes reproduce how in a particular generation would a fox reproduce ask yourself that question answer it by stepping through the code what happens when a warren's full and ask yourself these key questions step through it and make sure you can answer them by, by finding the elements of the code um, the big thing 
about object orient is that obviously we're modeling the code, we're limit, we're bundling it, encapsulating it in terms of these objects rather than particular processes. So it's not a stru it's not structured code. We're following through particular processes. We're bundling the code, encapsulating the code in these classes, which effectively model real world objects. Um, sorry, that's been a bit garbled. Uh, obviously, this one wasn't scripted at all. I'm just trying to give you an overview. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Ask loads of questions. There's going to be another little set of these where I'll look in more detail at each of these. So don't comment with things like, oh, we didn't go into enough detail on uh, Animal. Look at the next video and you should see that I will look at simulation and particularly uh, a little bit more detail about uh, this advanced time period, which is probably after the creation of the landscape, the next most important thing.